Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Fabian, and welcome to bonus video number 2. So, this is the second Inktober video, which will cover day 5 until day 8. And we are working on day 5 right now with the theme of sad. Pretty simple. So, I kinda knew right away what I wanted to do, what kind of pose. And I didn't even do sketches or thumbnails for this anymore since it was pretty clear in my head and it was pretty simple anyway. Um, the background that I do is a little bit sort of extra to make it more interesting to look at because I feel like if I made it pure black, it might have been a little bit boring and static. So I just added that in. I'm using the Sakuta Micron Pigma Pen as my main lining tool. It has the weight of 0.4. Uh, I also used a little bit the Unipin 05 pen which I used more in the video, the first video, the one before this. I used the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pens, which are Inja Ink. And whoops, it seems like my camera sat down a bit because it's overhead, right? So um, the clamp, I guess, fell down a little. So please excuse my thighs, that will be fixed in a few seconds. Right, there we go. No more thighs over there. Um, what else? Yeah, it turned out pretty dark, which is. I guess appropriate but I added a lot more shadows than I thought I would. I still think it turned out pretty nice though so I guess that's okay. So here I'm starting to add in the deeper shadows. I used almost all of my greens. I just didn't use the really yellowish tinged ones. Again, I'm using the really dark blue ones, so that's deep indigo, warm gray, black, etc., etc. So, yeah. I think you might see later how much, how many pens I used just to blend everything out together. I was actually really scared that it might not be distinguishable. Like lines won't be really distinguishable from each other, especially when I start doing the background. But I solved that by doing it in with a light marker first, then adding some spots of where I don't color it in, and then just adding darker shadows where it's appropriate. So here, this is where I started worrying that oh shit, it might look kind of flat and confusing. So I added in the shadows on the buildings and the like. So please stay tuned for day 6, which will be in a few seconds. Again, I'll be showing all of the pictures at the very end, with from day 5 to day 8. So yeah, enjoy for a bit. So, you're gonna start day 8 six with the theme of hidden thanks for staying if you made it up to this point um yeah so the piece was rather simple to me i didn't really need to try to sketch up the concept anymore but it's like it was pretty solid in my mind what i wanted to do uh, i also knew which character i wanted to draw which is my original character her outfit theme as a character herself is very stealthy assassin-esque and i actually do have the character design speed paint up on this channel as well. You can just search in the playlist. I felt like she, she was the most appropriate because of her characterization itself is some type you'd see hidden in the shadows. The pose was a little tough to get down mainly because of proportions and how the cloth would fall on the character. I wanted to make sure it was more or less right and nothing looked too wonky. I also wanted to carry over drawing buildings and perspective from the day before. I just added a bit more drama into this particular piece by making things a bit more interesting. Like the buildings are, have a curved quality to them, they're not fully symmetrical. The horizon itself isn't a straight line, it's a bit slanted. So. By doing that, dismantling the entire piece alone adds a bit more action to the piece, which I really think was a good job on my part. Um, 
not that I'm trying to stroke my ego too much, but I was really proud that I thought of doing that. So, yeah. Originally, I wanted to make this very dark and a lot of heavy shadows and blacks like the piece before this. But I decided to do something rather clean, so I only used minimal shadows just to add emphasis on some parts, but nothing too overwhelming or too heavy. And I was glad I did that since I think doing another dark piece would have gotten a bit boring. So that's pretty much it. It was actually pretty fast. I finished this drawing in something like an hour actually. With all the drawings, it took me like 2-3 to three hours. Again, day 7 is coming up and yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 7. Today I didn't follow the theme. Instead, I drew a character or a piece of fan art of one of the games on my phone that recently updated and I could change and I wanted to play it again. And that game is Love Life School Idol Festival. And I'm drawing Umi Sonoda from Love Live. She is part of Muse and she has a deeper voice in among the characters. She's not the deepest I think, but she has she's one of the deeper tones in the vocal range. She's just my favorite character and I've been playing it again for the past two three days. And yeah. So I'm using a Unipin 05 weight fine liner for the lines and the Derwent Ink Tense Pencils for the colors. Now the Derwent Ink Tense Pencils, if you're not familiar with them, are water-soluble pencils. So they're pretty much like watercolor pencils, but their core or their lead is not watercolor. Instead, it is ink. So when you water them down, uh, they become as intense and it would act the way ink would act. So the technique that I found with this pencil, these pencils, is that you have to be very light and gentle with the way you put them down, mainly because they're very intense. I mean, that's why they are called ink tense because really they're more intense when you use water in them than when it's dry. And also when you, for me at least, it's what what's happens that when you um, set the product down too hard, it becomes harder to layer the colors on top of each other. So you have to do it in a very light-handed manner. But still, I believe they are ink since they are called ink tents after all. And I think I'm still well within the rules of using ink for Inktober. So yeah, I had fun. It was a... Despite the color palette being a bit limited, and it's a bit hard since the colors are very intense. So it's a bit hard to get um, softer colors on it. I had a lot of fun using it this time. I was intimidated by them because of how intense the colors are and they're rather expensive from what I know. And the fact that they're pretty hard to blend out once they dry because they're not meant to blend out anymore since it's ink. So what I'm doing is I wet the tip of the pencil to create the softer washes or softer colors on the piece. So, we are nearing the end of day 7. Stick around for the last piece of the day, or for this video at least, and that would be day 8. Hey guys, welcome back. It is day 8, and again, I did not follow the theme this time. Originally, I was, and the theme was rock, and I 
the original idea in my mind was it was gonna be a very rocky landscape and my character that I'm drawing would be in this cool pose and it would kind of fit in with the landscape but I kind of like the pose I kind of like the pose so much when I started doing the pencils that I wanted to focus on it instead and put the rocks in the background and not the main focus. So the character I'm doing right now is my original character. I've had him for years and years now. I don't know when I first made him actually. Uh, he's a lancer and he has a nice white billowing cloak that sways in the wind. And I have not drawn this character in three years and by drawn legit uh, really serious work and not just like doodles and sketches. So uh, I first designed this particular outfit around three to four years ago and I'm, I was surprised when I looked back at it I was still pretty proud of how it looked. I just simplified some of the details that are necessary or would make things look a bit inconvenient to have on this kind of outfit for this kind of character. But the basic, how it looks basically is still the same. And I was pretty happy when I saw it and like, I was like, that turned out pretty good. It just needs some elements to be refined or modified. But I was really reluctant to change a lot of things on it. Other than that, oh yeah, let's talk about the materials. I'm using the Unipin 05 Fine Liner for the lines. And I'm using the Faber Castle Pit Artist Pens for the grayscale coloring thing. So these Faber Castle pens, I, don't, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the previous segments, but these are Inja ink. So they are ink, but they are markers at the same time. So yeah, I'm still within the rules. Haha. <laughs> You're near the end of this video. Congratulations for staying this long and hanging on if you did. And I really appreciate it. I know it's really long and it's probably really hard to sit through the entire thing. But really, thank you for sitting through it if you did. And please stick around. I will be showing day 5 to day 8 in just a few seconds. So this day 5, the theme was sadness. Day six the theme was hidden and I was still keeping with the themes at this point. Day seven will be Sanada and day eight my character in focus. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Leave and Like or subscribe and see you around.